Hey, gang, welcome to my life, where anything is possible and nothing is as it seems. I'm Freedom, and I'll be your host, coming at you from within the depths of Geistopia. Back into my life as a project on experiment in life on art, a living story about a few them. Its premise is that life is experiential on such you can undo. Experience life you choose. It is based on the use of the field of life on the arts with the new millennium as life building tools. Yeah, it's true. Welcome to my life as an ITV Studios Geist House Players production in association with the Center for Creative Inspirationalism. Just Us Productions, the parent company would like to listen. Would like to thank the give a shout out to the following for the ongoing and off times unknowing inspiration and support. Too bad we can't do a like outtakes reel. Cuddlebug, Princess Sun, Princess Cuddlebug, Princess Sunshine, Crazy Company, The Shop of the Pillar, Heaven, Bob the Warden, the entire butt, but Butter Clan, Fairy Princess, Professor Ziggy Chong, Hoagie Snowflake, Sparky Wenceslas, for the band man in general, Rob Claus, and may the rest in peace. The Lutz of the Bassett Down, Bert Dawn, the Baker of the Cornbread, Andy Penny, the Mutter, Jason, O Danny Boy, St. Diane, and you, Brother John, Thing One, and Thing Two, the Nameless One, all the people in my neighborhood, the White Girl, the Anomaly, the Quitter, Good Man, Charlie Brown, the Rocks, the BAF and AM, CCPA, PDT, Chanel Number Five, the Superstar, Sir Richard Souch, the Wixians, the Socialite, the Village of Idiots, Piss Never Dancing Queen, Downtown Encyclopedia Brown, the Legendary Pink Goblins, Mama Rabbit, Beat, My Wisconsin Bell, the Babes, and of course, a very generous sponsor who not so much wishes to remain anonymous. It is. Tuesday, <laughs> November 26th, 2019. Time. Oh. Uh, again, sorry. Welcome to my face. <laughs> I'm very sorry that you have to be this close and personal to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a day. I'm having a really, 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 really rough day. I'm having a rough, like, two days. Yesterday sucked. Today isn't quite so sucky. Uh, on the upside. So I did some work this morning. I'm going to go. I'm trying to kill some time. Uh, thank God that I have it uh, to do this. But uh, I'm going to go and have some dinner with some friends and uh, also get payment, I guess, for some work done today. Amen. Uh, beyond that, it my life is just such a shit show right this minute uh, because I don't know my brain my br my brain is in confusion there's just as always so much going on and so many choices and so much to worry about and just I don't know and I don't understand and no matter what all I can do is uh, rely on faith and I, I some people are going to be like yay to those people, I say, trust me, my faith is different than what you think. Uh, other people are going to be like, ah, oh. one person said it to me. Oh, to have faith in something outside of yourself. Well, that's kind of what I've learned over the last 20 years. There is definitely some. I, listen, you don't have to believe me. You do not have to take my word for it. But if nothing else, at least let me plant the seed, I promise you. With everything I hold sacred in life, I would lay my life on the line for the statement. There is something outside of us. There's a system, a pattern, a force, a spirit, a something in existence. Period. Uh, we can get into the debates later because that's not really the moral of this story. So, uh, lesson of the week, just do it. Uh, observation of the week, I'm a fuck nut. I, that's a rabbit! Look, there's just no other word for it. Uh, I'm sorry if I get blocked anywhere for that, but I, I, I mean, really. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't, it, this is why I say, like, don't ever confuse the amazing things that go down in my life with me, because I, I really am, I'm a goof, I, I 
screw it all up. I can't get anything straight. And sometimes it's because that I, I get so caught up in my head trying to make the right choice and trying to be ahead of the game, understanding what the pros and cons. I'm, I'm facing a situation right now still with job and income where I, I have choices I have to make and like in less than 12 hours. No, a little more than 12 hours. I have to make these choices. Everything has pros and cons. Everything has a give and take. Everything has a sacrifice. Every choice I make affects like the rest of the outcome of this story. And I'm so lost and boggled by it, right? Like I can either do the parent company, which I tell you, looking at it, practically speaking, fiscally is not a good choice. Or I still have a chance to go to the distributor and fiscally, that is a good choice. Beyond that, I don't know. I, I, I've given up hope on ever really working for myself, so I'm trying to find something that I can settle into and be happy with, and that's this. But who's to say I won't with this? But who's to say they won't let me go in the blink of an eye when the holidays are over? So my brain goes round and round. And I'm trying to figure out what choice to make because I can't, I really can't keep going like this. In and amongst all of that, I'm having problems with So there's been discussion today and lots of questions and lots of not answers. Uh, all things that I've thought before, like, yeah, you know, like I just had the thought, like I have, I've been given all of these things. I'm trying to weigh what to do. On one hand, there's faith, but faith is even messing with me right now because yes, if I had to say, I got a message today, the message was to give up the parent company and go to the distributorship. That's what I've taken from it so far. But along the way, in discussing that, so many things have come up. Like the fact that I was already at the distributorship, we did this, and that's what got me back to the parent company. And along the way, I've been given all of these other things that I can maybe make money with if I just do them. But will I get around to doing them? I just, I'm so lost and confused with what to do right now, what choice to make, and just tired. I'm having problems with Cuddlebug. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. It's just, I miss my daughters a lot. And I feel like they're slipping through my fingers. And, and, and. so again, not the moral of the story. Also on a brighter note, I've randomly been nominated for it's a performance I did in February. I, and I'm just, I don't even know what to make of this because it's just got, I, I don't know. It's too random to not be divine. And yet it just has me reeling. Like, I, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm honored. But I, I like part of me doesn't care. Like, I don't, I, believe me, if anyone anyone that knows me will tell you I certainly do not do theater for any accolades. I do it because I absolutely love it beyond anything I've ever done. I just can't make a living at it. <laughs> but, uh, but I do love it. I don't know. I just hate the accolades. I hate that people make a big deal over my performances. So much, in fact, that the general's wife saw the, well, widow, saw this very performance. And she knows how I feel about people making a big deal over my performances. It really kind of grates me. It really makes me uncomfortable and I don't like it. It is my least favorite part of theater. If I could get out of the theater without ever talking to anyone at the end of the show, I would. I, but I went out to see her and she just looked at me and was like, you sucked. Thank you.
Thank you very much, because now I know that you at least appreciated my work, but you also respect me enough to please just not. If people would just say to me, nice job, and leave it at that, I'd be okay, but they don't. And I'm not tooting my horn or, or amazing myself, because I'm telling you, I really hate it. So here, I'm over time now, and we have to go, but that's where I'm at. So I don't know if somebody wants to talk to me and try to help me understand what I'm going to do in my life because I need to make a choice. And, and I hate to say that I want to make a choice based strictly on the guaranteed money because that is not me at all. And that is not anything you, one cannot serve mammon and God at the same time. But God has confused me 10 times more today than, than, than ever before so but anyway that's where we are uh if you're not already there go to the welcome to my life facebook page wtml or the youtube channel welcome to my life wherever you are and whenever you are like comment and share i would love us to know you're there please hi i want to say hi to you i want to know what your thoughts are don't just be idols idol idol don't be idle What the hell was that? That's the pooch you're screwing. So, without hesitation, from here in Geistopia, this is your beloved Rev and Walt. And Doc and Johnny. And those guys saying, stay tuned in, fellow travelers. And wishing you peace, love, light, and freakishness, baby.